Hi, my name is Laura Nelson, and this is my daughter Dorothy. Hi. <laughs> and we're going to show you today uh, the deck a deck which is a deck of cards I created a few years ago, and it's a set of 55 cards in five different models showing the numbers 0 through 10. Let me show you why the deck a deck can be very helpful with reinforcing number sense in activities at home. These are the five different models of the deck a deck. The first model I'm going to show you is dice. This is the 10 card. This is the zero card. And you'll notice that these dice aren't like the cards that you have at home or the dice that you have at home, right? Because they don't go to six. They just go up to five. So you'll notice that the 10 is five and five and then five and four makes the nine. And then we go all the way down to five and zero to one and then zero. And the reason for that is all of the cards in the deck -a deck are built in what we call five groups, meaning any number over five is built as five and some more. And so that's important when reinforcing number sense at home because we walk around with five and some more, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So the next set that we have are the finger counting set. This is 10 and this is zero. But the interesting thing about the finger counting set is the way it counts up. Here's the one, and the two, and the three. And what you'll notice about the finger counting set is that it counts from left to right, just like a number line. So the entire finger counting set goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's because, let's say we're showing the number seven, we want students to be able to quickly see that there's three fingers down and seven fingers up. Same with the six, four fingers down and six fingers up. So again, it makes our fingers look like a number line. There's the finger counting set. These are called 10 frames. And 10 frames is exactly what it sounds like. It's a frame with 10 dots to show 10 zero dots to show zero, and everything in between. What's important about the 10 frame is we want students to pay attention not only to the number of dots that are on the card, but also the number of dots that aren't on the card. Which is my nickname. Your nickname is Dot because your name is Dorothy. <laughs> so here there's four dots on the card, but we can quickly see that there's five and one missing, so there's six missing. So it reinforces the idea that six and four make 10. There's the 10 frames. The fourth set I wanna show you are the tally set. Now tallies naturally come in groups of five, so that works out well. This is our 10 card, nine, all the way down to one, and then, this is really interesting, this is the zero card in the tally set. So when you look at your deck and you have a completely blank card, it is not a mistake. It is supposed to be there, and it is the zero card in the tally set. And then lastly, we have our numbers, all the way from 10 down to zero. And when you're working with very young children, three, four, sometimes even five years old, you might want to leave this set out because this is a very abstract idea for children to understand quantity when they see these representations of numbers. There are many games you can play with the deck deck. Make 10 and Bump have variations that can challenge everybody in your family, from three and four year olds all the way to adults. Go Fish and War can also be very fun games to do with preschool, kindergarten, first and second grade students. There's a series of videos where you can see in-depth explanations on how to play each of these games. I hope you have fun with the deck -a deck